Hi, I have a storm chase update. It's Wednesday about 1130. I'm in the Ozarks and I'll probably stay in the Ozarks storm chasing. Now, storm chasing in the Ozarks, it's kind of more like storm spotting on a tether. You just kind of have to pick areas where it's reasonably flat and the road network is good. Some of those areas would include anywhere between, let's say, Springfield and Joplin, uh, northern Joplin along the Osage Plain. And there are some thunderstorms developing in southeast Kansas, northeast Oklahoma that I think are going to look like they could possibly be tornadic in the next hour or so. And a tornado watch will probably be hoisted for most of southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas very shortly. All right, well, I hung out northern Joplin and did my due diligence on those storms. They were shallow, kind of disorganized. Not scared on storm one. Um, so after some assessment and actually looking at radar, I decided to drop south uh, out of southeast Kansas, due south to around uh, Pitcher, Oklahoma, where I'm seeing the tail end of this line of storms and the only severe thunderstorm warned storm uh, in this line. And I think it probably has the best shot at producing uh, something here. It's almost uh, it's about a quarter till two o'clock in the afternoon. I'll probably be at the storm intersection site in about a half hour or so. All right, we're traveling on Highway 60. Approaching Verona, according to radar, the circulation is dead ahead of me. Um, doing this, of course, with extreme caution, going very slowly, as the person in front of me is. Saw some uh, evidence of damage in Monette. Power lines down along the main drag there in Monette 60. Um, you know, just seeing various you know, leaves in the road, branches, things like that, indicating something went through here. The signature on radar is couplet to couplet, so it's very, very powerful. Um, and I won't be able to take a video of that now just because I'm focusing on driving, but uh, I can go get that archive later. But that couplet is uh, basically south, uh, just just about due south of Aurora, which is you know, kind of between Verona and Aurora right now. So it is not that far ahead of me here. Just a very close eye to the sky and um, again driving on Highway 60 East um, watching there's a lot of rain so this is the kind of situation where you know you just want to drive into something so we're just using a lot of caution a lot of a lot of visual radar is important but your eyes are a lot more important in this situation but uh, got my dash cam on uh, yeah, the circulation is very close. Tornado warning sirens going off here in Aurora. There's lots of uh, you know, leaves on the trees on the ground here. Uh, wind damage. And you can check out the left on Highway 60. And um, again, the sirens are going. I don't see any other evidence of severe damage here along 60. I am getting circulation on the back side of this consistent with uh, uh, a circulation you would expect on the western side of a mesocyclone or a tornado. So we're going very slowly here on Highway 60. Not because I'm hungry or I want their uh, ultimate drink stop, but I'm taking shelter underneath this uh, sonic canopy because the hailstones are getting pretty big. Um, we're located in the core of that thunderstorm that produced the tornado. The circulation is southeast of me, and um, so I'm just going to wait here a little bit till I get behind this storm and, and uh, proceed with a little more caution because Highway 60 now is not really in the tornado path as much as it is in the hail path. So I'm just going to have mercy on my car and my windshield.